she said. No, earlier in the week, started to get some messages of reports that an American tourist was robbed and killed in Ironman. First thing come to mind was, I will bite so. Which 87 does dash them life? Which 87 does bring his entire acidic career to an end? Rob and kill the golden goose. Well, it turns out the victim is a man by the name of Philip Bradley Crane. This man passed story stage a long time. Philip Crane was not at worst. He was living in Ironman for over 20 years. Back and forth, you know, in trouble to Uncle Sam place, get to understand say, at right, least from Texas. But when somebody been living in our country right, for over 20 years, that's not a tourist. He actually has a family in Ironman, a wife and a child. The man even have locks. So this man is very familiarized with Ironman. He's not somebody who stepped off a cruise ship walking around with a camera or somebody who you know, drop an Ironman to go see one all inclusive walk outside and not end up dead. Far from it. He was killed in a home invasion. People are call it a robbery. Now I'm telling all the time. You have to be careful of the fake robbery motive, especially when a business people involved. It's the number one fake motive for people do. Because them our business is easy, the 87s right, do the fake robbery because it's plausible. Sometimes 87s try you know, play up the wall, give me what you have, and they just make it look like a robbery. But a real robbery is when them go for money or them go for jewelry or something like that. When man go for kill you and then take something too, that's not robbery. I'm going to show a small part of a video that has now been released to social media. The video right, show the final moments of Philip Bradley Crane. Right. It's going to show a small part because obviously we can't play certain things on YouTube. Right. The full video is on This Is A Blast page right, on Instagram. So, check this out. As I said, Philip Green lived in Ironman for a very long time. He had a family in Ironman. In the video, when you said 87 pint the weapon upstairs, that's Philip's wife, my pint the weapon. It was the screams from his partner that make him go towards the 87s because my people are saying, right, why am I about just run? Why right, him have time to run? He hear the screams then and him going quiet. Bear in mind, this is a very short clip. We don't know if there's a, you know, uh, there's a, in, a much longer version that tells a completely different story. We just try to work with what we see in this video clip. It appears, I right, say, him ear screaming are going and him come around for look what going on. I see, say, demand them. Right, a stick up the family. Yes, it does appear he could have escaped, but contrary to what people tell you in the modern media, it's very unlikely that a man is going to just left him wife and him pitney behind. The urge to protect your family is instinctive in most males. I'm mean, not a man who is there with, I'm mean, not a man who is there because the thing is, no woman go there with a certain man and then walk around until we say, them man and what is, now the man that you pick. I've been to enough funerals to know, say, 
in danger, it is normal for most men, not all simple Simon, but most men, right, to do whatever it takes to protect right, their woman and their pitney. And oftentimes, they end up losing them life. So, him go towards the man then. He then does something that show me how comfortable he has become an Iron Man. He tells them to chill. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the fact that the man dead, I would think this was some kind of skit. That part, only see for myself. The man find him and said, just chill. Then, they have a little, I guess, wrestling match. And then the slowest chase I've ever seen. This man was physically no match for them youth. Even when I try to run away, the 87s them barely have to put in effort to catch up with him. This was an elder man in the 50s. He wasn't going very far. He clearly is not a track star. Them catch up with him real easy. Even after them run off with them. So now them catch up with him, you hear the gun shot them go off. In my opinion, this is just my theory. Then come to kill the man. Because if this was a real robbery, the moment them all lamp on him, the moment him see say, he can't get away. The next thing I'm going to start do is drag him all over the house to show them which part of the money they would then clear them come from. Man will actually come for rob a whole lamp on you and drag you through every single room, make you search every single drawer right. until they get what they think you have another the house. Something else stand out to me. Him woman and picking at the house. Why them never hold on upon them and use them as hostage to make him give up the money with them claim say he come for rob. This is how robbers operate. A two of them either stick you up, open every single drawer, open your safe, or hold on upon woman and picking and say, them are go dead. If you don't give me this and give me that. Then Monday, run down the man and then catch him, be a gunshot fire and kill the man. This look like a hit to me. Now, I did some digging because they killed him in our villa and I found the pics of the villa online. And it's on a hill with a great view of Town, but it's surrounded by bush and it's very open. So it's a typical villa. You know, villas don't normally have grills and empty. Right? So, you can see, say, right, the, the big wide open windows and empty. You know, even the, the windows, them, them are really that secure because that's about watching. So, I'm saying this to say that it would be easy for 87 to sneak up through the bush and then take themselves through the bush again. There's also a long driveway, so maybe them drive up, as I said, they're not really so ready to them. But, if him see strange man a drive up in him yard, he may be gonna start barricade himself. So it's possible so him catch him off guard. And the fact say them in the house already, woman start scream and then him come round. That look like the man him just jumped from window. This will be the last thing people are expect summer right this up. And probably they warm with every door and every window warm. But this is not a typical robbery, in my opinion. Here is something interesting to find out. Philip Crean had a license to sell herbs legally in Ironman. He was also a real estate developer. So that's two very interesting industries. The herb license especially is very interesting. My Rasta Bridge and the PIA most linked by the time this video dropped because he might always tell me to say, I try to get my license there. To sell herbs legally and I know him can't get it. So between the herbs license and the real estate, who knows where this is coming from? This is really, really spooky. The police have come out and say they have no lease because even though they have the video, they would have mass up. So yes, Philip Crane was an American, but he's hardly just a tourist. I did some digging online to see if the news broke on foreign platforms and menacing them. So even the foreign press 
right now I reports that you know tourists killed in Jamaica because as you know that would be extremely bad PR to Ironman. Before the video end, more ask the call the police squad so. When you see the video, right? When you hear the woman scream, when you see the man come around. How was that man going to help his family in that scenario? You saw the look of wrestling match with him out. The younger, smaller 87 was manhandling him. What was he going to do? Finger stone? In a home invasion, what are people expected to do? Call the police squad. Did you think Philip Crane was going to get time to take out his phone and call 119 and tell them, say, Come here, sir. 87 in the yard. And 87 in the sit down on the step and wait for the police. When you see how fast it happened? When you see how fast it happened from the time when time the, the, the wife scream out to the point when Philip come around till him run off, him dead. When you see how fast it happened? Go and go watch the full video. And this is a blast. I don't even think it lasts 60 seconds. In that scenario, if you're not armed, you are now hoping that the 87 only come to thief. You want to rely on hope? You want to rely on 87 being in a good mood? First thing, when 87 is at the home invasion, especially of this caliber, they normally get some kind of intel already. Somebody tell them, say, you have something at the house of serious, serious value. The one them just broke in a house, you see, when I find a stand, you have thief who just broke in a house, see what they can find, and you have home invasion. Man, you come for something specific. Sometimes that is your life. A home invasion is the worst attack of them all, in my opinion. But I talk about when it comes down to you know, crime and violence. The worst attack I can think of is a home invasion. Whatever happened to you in your house criminally, it's worse than when it happened to you on the road. If a man rob you in your house, it's much worse than getting robbed on the road because your house is your sanctuary. That is where you feel the safest. If something happened to you on the road, what do you think to yourself? Alright, but just want to work and go home. If you dealt with people who've been attacked, but let them get robbed, but let them get assaulted, one of the first things I hear people say after a while is, I just want to go home. I just want to go home and go lie down. People want to go and go sleep it off. They, want, they wake up in the morning and deal with it. But right now, I just want to go home and go lie down. That's because your home is your sanctuary. So what happens when that sanctuary is violated and how are you going to defend it? Once your home is breached, you will never ever feel safe anywhere again, even Right. If not now to you. All if you survive a home invasion. If you ever see 87 is run up near your house and point a gun near your face, you can't sleep good again. You can't sleep comfortable again in the house. You cannot. Even though I'm sure it's a pretty solace to the family. I'm at least glad. Say the wife and the child was not armed. Anyway, Patreon squad, be open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra Squad, see you circling. Bless.